Published to 545 Est, the 5th of November 2017. Updated 1145 Est, the 5th of November 2017. The Egyptian husband of a British holidaymaker facing the death penalty for carrying prescription painkillers worth £23 reportedly already has a wife, multiple girlfriends, and his marriage to Laura Plummer means nothing. Most Plummer, 33, is languishing in a prison cell in Egypt after being caught with a painkiller tramadol in her suitcase at her order in. International Airport. The shop assistant, from Hull, was visiting her 33-year-old partner Omar Kibu, a sports activity administrator at a five-star hotel in Sharm el-Sheikh who she met while on holiday in the country four years ago. While it had been reported the pair were married, Mose Plummer's sister Jane Sinclair, 40, has now claimed the couple signed a document which allows them to sleep in an apartment together when they are in Egypt. Laura Plummer Center, pictured with her sisters Rachel Plummer and Jane Sinclair, is facing the death penalty in Egypt for carrying painkillers into the country Ms. Plummer brought the drugs for husband Omar, who suffers from back problems. Her sister today claims the pair's marriage means nothing and Omar is already married Laura Plummer, left, is being held by Egyptian authorities after taking tramadol into the country their marriage means nothing, is not legally binding and Omar already has a Muslim wife, she said. She told the Mirror Laura ISNTU secret. She has met Omar's family and children. But he has a Muslim wife and they only sign documents in Egypt that allow them to live together when she goes to stay. He doesn't have a passport so can't come to England. I don't know much about him but he likes to take her out when S.H.E.S. there. Even though S.H.E.S. 33, she had never had a boyfriend before Omar. It comes as Ms. Plummer was apparently fleeced out of £10,000 by men posing as lawyers who said they can help free her. Two men reportedly turned up at her cell offering help in return for the money. But the fraudster allegedly demanded £10,000 up front before dropping her case. Ms. Plummer is being held in a 15 feet by 15 feet cell with between 20 and 30 other women including murderers, heroin addicts and prostitutes and was being kicked and kicked until the leader of the cell intervened, her sister revealed. Ms. Plummer brought the medicine into the country to give to Omar, who suffers from severe back and arm pain after being in a car crash a few years ago. Laura Plummer, right, was held for five hours at the airport with no interpreter and could now face the death penalty. Mrs. Plummer, left, could face 25 years in prison with no parole, life imprisonment or even the death penalty. The painkiller tramadol can be bought with a prescription in Britain, but is illegal in Egypt where it is a popular heroin substitute. But the drug, which is available in the UK on prescription, is banned in Egypt and sometimes used as a heroin substitute. Ms. Plummer has claimed she was forced to sign a 38-page Arabic confession before being locked in a tiny cell with dozens of other women. Ms. Sinclair said her sister is naive and childlike and didn't even check what the drugs were. Ms. Plummer was arrested after flying into a Red Sea Beach resort for a break with Omar on October 9. She claims she was recommended the pills of which she was carrying 29 strips, each containing 10 tablets which has a street value of £23.20 by a colleague when discussing Omar's consistent pain. Mrs. Plummer was held for five hours at the airport with no interpreter. She then signed a statement she believed would allow her to leave. In Egypt capital punishment is carried out by hanging. The state carried out at least 44 executions last year. Possession, use and trafficking illegal drugs can be punished with death. Carrying small amounts can result in lengthy prison sentences of 25 years. It is common for people convicted to life imprisonment in drugs cases to face life imprisonment with no chance of parole or pardon. In 2015 Cairo scene reported that tramadol was the most abused drug in Egypt. An anti-addiction hotline found that 40.7% of drug users take the painkiller. Ms. Plummer is said to still be wearing the same clothes she flew out in and was handcuffed to a gun-wielding policeman when she first appeared in court. She is due to appear in the dock again on Thursday. Her mother claimed she looked dead behind the eyes and repeatedly begged for help as she faced judges. Ms. Plummer's youngest sister, Rachel, 31, said Laura can't cope another hour let alone 20-plus years. 
SHEs in there with 25 non-speaking English women so you can imagine the loneliness yet being surrounded by so many people in a small space. There are Egyptian women who are in there for what is British call proper drug-related crimes like heroin and cocaine but they come and go yet SHES taken some painkillers across and is getting treated like it's a million pound drug smuggle. She was stopped at the airport as she jetted in for a fortnight stay with Omar who she sees four times per year. The last text message sent by the shopkeeper was to her father, Neville, and said I'm in trouble and I need your help. Mo's plumber's brother, James, told BBC Radio 5 live his sister had brought the tablets into the country in an innocent, honest mistake. He said shop assistant Mo's plumber had told a colleague about Omar's back trouble and they told her she could get her painkillers from her GP, he added they were prescribed to a friend of hers. Mr. Plummer said his sister did not even check what kind of tablets they were. Tramadol is prescription only in the UK and a pill is worth 8 p.m., which means Mrs. Plummer could have only made a maximum of £23.20 £20 if she had intended to sell them. Mose Plummer is due to make a third appearance in court on November 9 with a third lawyer. The Foreign Office confirmed they are assisting a British national in Egypt. The confidential support called the Samaritans on 116,123 a visit to local Samaritans branch, or see samaritans.org for details.